Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to my new course in Udemy released today on integrating Gen AI, AI agents, multi-agent systems for software testing. And we are going to do all these operations with the power of local large language model using Olama. So in this video, we're going to see what exactly that we have covered in this entire course. Well, you may ask, what is this course and what exactly we will learn in this particular course? Well, this course empowers the QA engineers with the power of large language model and artificial intelligence agent to build QA related tools and solutions. I know there are many courses available in the Udemy as well as in YouTube to talking about how we can use the large language model and also how we can use ChatGPT for that matter, something like this, where you can ask the question like a uh, like a no voice user, where you can ask the question to create and test cases in a BDD format for a given scenario. You put a lot of prompt engineering to uh, you know massage the way you get the data out from a ChatGPT or maybe Claude or Gemini. It's just going to work. But the problem is you can only go that much you can because as you know, with the cloud desktop for that matter, or even uh, the uh, chat GPT, if you put a file there and if you ask a question, like if the file size is much bigger, then based on the text size and token, you can only ask only that much of a question. If not, you're going to get an error here saying that your message was exceeded the length of the, the length limit of this particular chat. So you can't really work on that. If you have a pro plan, you can avoid this kind of issue, but not every person on the planet is going to have this pro plan, right? So that is the problem we have with the uh, with the models which we use uh, on the cloud if it is a free version of these uh, models. But in order to uh, get around this particular problem, we have to use these models uh, as well as these AI agents in a more powerful fashion. So in order for you to uh, differentiate yourself from the rest of the cloud who are using the artificial intelligence like ChatGPT or Gemini, like a search engine, we have to use these AI models as well as the large language model as a super user to gain the entire power that it has possessed. And also we need to be on the trend by just setting ourselves uh, to understand what exactly is happening around us in terms of the software as well as the evolution of this large language model. Because we know a lot of people are now talking about AI agents and large language models, MCP servers, and talking about how we can use them and fusing them with the playwright and things. But nobody really talks about how you can really use that in your everyday work and how you can start enabling the large language model at your work and also uh, gain more, uh, more understanding about all these concepts. And this course, is going to cover all these no wise questions and making you empowered with all these operations that we're going to be doing. Well, as that said, in this course, we'll be understanding what exactly is the AI agent and also understanding the power of the multi-agent system. So you'll understand how things work. And also we'll be talking about how we can build all these AI agents and multi-agent systems using Langchain and Autogen of Microsoft and things of the nature. And I mean, while you think about like building all these AI agents and multi-agent system, are we talking about like building an enterprise scale application? Of course not. This course is going to be focused on the quality engineers in mind. So this course is not going to go so deep in writing the most intrinsic complicated code for an enterprise scale application. But you are going to be writing some of the tools which is going to help you to, to automate things which you would have probably not done if the large language model doesn't really exist. Because we know that we as an automation test engineers or QA engineers, we actually automate the process as much as possible to make our life easier so that we can focus on our work and a quality uh, improvement of our application. But what really happens at the moment is while we automate the application, we also end up with other problems like log analysis or test case writing or evaluating the test cases, whether the test case has been automated or not, requirement traceability, and also understanding the root cause of the problem that is happening with the application. So these kind of things, if you could automate and if you can bring the quality of life improvement within your work, then this course can really achieve that. That's what exactly we'll be talking about in this particular course. As I said, in this entire course, we are going to be talking about these many things. Like we are going to talk about the basics of Langchain, how you do the 
document readings and parsing, how you sort the data and store the data into the vector data stores. These are things which is required for you to understand how you can work with a large set of data and then you can query the data from, uh, from your code itself so that you can gain the understanding of how things work. And also you'll be talking with the large language model as if like you're really talking with a uh, with a chat GPT with a, a prompt there. We are going to do all these operations via code. And then we'll be also creating the agents as well as uh, the tools with the power of these agents to fuse with the large language models. Well, I say we're going to be creating the tools. We're not just going to create any tool uh, like an addition tool or subtraction tool. We are actually going to do, uh, do build a tool which are going to make our life easier. So these are the POC code that you can actually take it right from the course and you can use it immediately within your machine and see how things work. So we are going to be building the tools like the AI log reader. So we're going to be reading a log files uh, and we'll see how the log can be parsed and what are the errors happening within the application. We can parse them and understand how things work, the power of AI. We'll also be building an AI web scraper tool using Playwright. We'll also be building an AI test case generator in the PDD format for any given scenarios and the requirements. So all these operations we are going to be writing via code and we'll be automating it. I mean, these are things which you can see are only very, very high level tools. But once you understand all these details, this opens a whole door for you of opportunity to build even more things that you can do within your organization. And finally, we'll also be creating all these single agent, single tool to a multi-agent, multiple tools using the autogen of Microsoft. So basically, we are going to be leveraging the power of AI Studio of the uh, the Microsofts and also the autogen uh, studio, which is going to be helping us to do an UI operation. We'll also be writing the code to see how we can communicate with multiple different agents uh, and then how these agents are going to interact with each other, how they manage the memory, how they manage the context and how they call the tools. We'll be understanding all these things. In fact, we are going to be even building these kind of tools uh, with the power of Autogen and see how things work. So you see that this is quite amazing. There's these agents sitting over here, they'll be doing a summarization operation and another agent will be doing a, a test case writing operation. And there'll be a research agent tool, which is basically going to be acting like, acting like a coordinator, which is going to invoke the summary uh, agent to see if the summary is really satisfying what uh, you have looked for. And then it is going to output to the user once it is happy. And all of these are going to happen with the power of agents and intercommunications with the multi-agent systems. So this is all about this course, actually and we'll be building everything in this particular course in order to show you how the course is structured and how the source code is going to look like the course source code is going to look something like this as you can see over here we are going to have uh, like this entire structure pretty much using the visual studio code and jupyter notebook and the local large language model is running within my machine and you will see that we will have a folder structure starting from the installation like the basics of the Python, like even writing a hello Python code. And then we'll also be talking about the basics of the LangChain, like how you can work with LangChain, how you can communicate with the large language model using Olama, and also how you can work with many different operations of LangChain. And then we'll be talking about how we can work with the external documentations, like requirement documents, just sitting in the PDF file or MD file or text file. So we'll be reading all of these, chunking them, and then we can also store them into the vector stores. So this way we have access to all our data sitting inside the vector store, which we can then retrieve these data out from them like how we can ask like a natural language question and we get the answer. You don't really have to write any SQL code for that. It, all of these gonna be done by the uh, by the retrieval QA of the LangChain. And finally, we'll also be talking about how we can build the, uh, the AI agents. Then once we have the greater understanding of the AI agents, we'll talk about how we can build a, a Playwright uh, tool, which is gonna talk with the, with the UI and then how you work with them. And also we'll be talking about uh, uh, the log reader, uh, agent which is going to be basically parsing the log and giving you the response uh, something like this as you can see over here to give you what exactly is going on with your log file what is the performance issue what are the connectivity issues it has got and what are the other errors happening within your uh, application and how you can fix them all so you can also see there is a recommendation coming from the uh, large language model and finally we'll also be writing the bdd test case creator which is going to create the test case not just by by any requirement but also 
also by reading the requirements from the requirement documentation and it's going to give you the responses there this is even more mind blowing guys you just think of all these things you can you can see that this is where you can uh, fuse your other ideas that you have within your QA workflow and then you can bring them all to the life this is mind blowing and finally we'll also be working with the multi agent system where this agents are going to do talk with each other as if like they're talking with a human being and they will be actually working for you like a copy of you uh, who is going to be working for you and getting the job done this is even more scary than amazing uh, and also this particular agent as you can see over here the log reader that we saw over here the, with a single agent these guys are going to be like a group of agents they're going to be chatting among themselves and they'll be giving you the answer and you see that there is going to be a QA lead who is going to be uh, who is going to be taking care of how the communications are happening and finally they will get you a refined uh, refined uh, log after parsing this big gigantic log files and you will see that it is going to give you the response something like this so this is how we are going to be building everything from here this course is not just limited to these many use cases we'll be adding even more use cases once we get along this course but but yes this is just the starting of the course guys and you see that the the, the entire use case of having this course with the power of ai agent and multi-agent with local large language models and how you can fuse your generative AI knowledge in all in together in one single place to improve the software quality, this course is going to address all of these for you. And once again, this course is quite exciting. And while I was building this course, and I'm sure that you'll be excited while you started learning this course as well. And I'm very excited for you to onboard in this course. And once again, thank you so much for all your support. And this course is now going to be available in Udemy as like the other rest of the four AI courses, which is available in Udemy from Exit Automation. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you soon in the course. Talk to you.